kids? Did you have a wonderful Easter? I sure did, it's me, Cedric the Seagull. Still no sign, Amy. I'm here outside Cornerstone's Mission Campus. Maybe Amy fell asleep here after our last recording. So I'm checking it out. Have you seen Amy? Ha 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 ha, so funny. Let's go inside to see if she's here. Oh, looks like it's closed. We'll have to go around the side. Follow me. Hmm. I forgot the code. Something, 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 something. Hmm. Well, when in doubt, just hit them all. Excuse me? Have you fellas seen where Amy's gone? Nope. Do you know where Amy is? Haven't seen it. What? <laughs> what about you? Have you seen Amy? Who's Amy? Who's Amy? She is my best non-feathered friend forever. Oh my god, where, 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 where is she going? I don't know, we've been looking for her for a month. <laughs> what are these things? I don't know, let me see if Amy's in bed. Nothing here somewhere. Oh, she's not there. She, I don't think she could fit under there. Can I hit this? What is it? Yep, that's the crap. Oh! <laughs> Whoa, do that again. Whoa! What do the other ones do? Uh, they're kind of the same. They're loud. Stuff. Ooh. Yeah, look at this one. Ooh. Look at that one. Okay, I have an idea. Yeah. You make a big noise on there, and then I'll fly away, and then maybe Amy will come running. Okay, let's let's do it. One, a two, a three, a seagull, go. <laughs> Ooh, what's in here? Yeah, just a bunch of batteries and stuff. Batteries? Do you have any Amy's? Um. I don't think so. Ah, well, what about anchovies? I'll take an anchovy. Um... I don't think so. Okay, well then. Thanks for trying. Sorry. Diz! Maybe she's up there. Kids at Cornerstone. Check in upstairs. <gasps> My head does a 180. Maybe a um, pot owl. <laughs> Let's see if Amy's hiding there. Amy! Amy? Uh, Amy? Well, Amy? 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 I'm coming for you. Amy! Amy! Oh, hi there, neighbor. I see you in that window. Have you seen Amy? She's got black hair like a bob. Very fun, very spunky. What? Oh. Your name is Amy? What a coincidence. No sign of Amy up here, kids. Except for the neighbour, Amy. I also realised that I'm a bird. And I could have just used my wings to fly up here in the start of this video. But it was nice to see inside the building. Anyway, let's go to worship. And I'll see you after that. Sometimes things are out of my control. And sometimes I don't understand why the rolling thunder rolls. But when the rain falls from the sky, the grass turns green, the flowers bloom, and I stop asking why. Because I know with hope there's always a better tomorrow. It's hard to believe the best, but you can't win if you give.
My name is Jacob, or as I like to call myself, the Puzzle Master. Confused by a conundrum? Call on me. Muddled by a mystery? I'm your muse. Perplexed by a perturbing problem? Ponder no longer, for I, the Puzzle Master, am here to bring you hope. Hope is believing that something good can come out of something bad. And it's a good thing I'm here because, oh. What have we here? It looks like an ordinary box. But wait, what have we here? The one and only perplexing enigmatical puzzle box. For hints and questions, send an email to the following address puzzle box at blah, 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 blah. Huh. Hints, questions, <laughs> I need no hints. I have no questions because I am the Puzzle Master. <laughs> this puzzle should be no match for me. Just a few flips of the knob, a few turns of this circle thing, and uh, voila, here we go. Okay, well, okay, let me try a few knobs. Oh, keys. Put the keys in. This is this is this is the the missing ingredient. You turn the wheel. You spin the knob. Hit the key a little bit. Say something nice to the box. You're a really nice box. And voila. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh uh, well, you know, no matter. There's a there's a solution to whatever am I doing right now. Okay, you turn it, and you open that, and then you do, that's what I was, then you do the, you do the, the key, rub your elbow on it, and sniff it twice. <laughs> and then, this really shouldn't be this hard for the, for the puzzle master. Oh! I, I... I, 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 I don't understand. I, 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 haven't, I haven't given up. I haven't given up. <sighs> In today's story, we'll hear about one of Jesus' disciples who was having trouble understanding what was going on. What did he give up? Voila! Well, okay. No, no. <laughs> no, he did not give up. He asked for help. Not that I need help or anything like that, because I am the Puzzle Master. No? Puzzle Master! Puzzle Master! I'll see you soon. Voila! Come on, okay. All right, you ready? Watch and be amazed. Okay. <laughs> Now you see me. Uh-huh. Now you don't. What? That was incredible. Where'd you go? Brandon. Brandon. Where'd you go? <laughs> oh, that was incredible. <laughs> How did you do that? You have to tell me. No, an illusionist never reveals his trick. Come on. I, you can tell me. I won't tell anyone. Okay. Yes! It's yes, actually yes, pretty yes, simple. Okay. You have to do it in a doorway, right? Okay. So you raise the sheet above your head, uh -huh. right? And then you, you just throw it up a little bit. Right. Just a little Got bit. And, and while it's up in the air, 
you run off really quickly, and, and, and then the sheet drops, and it gives the illusion that you just disappeared. Oh! <laughs> and then you know, I got so, it, I got it, I got it. You, well, are you no. sure you, don't, you want to see me do it again? No, I got it, I got it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay you ready? Yeah. All right. Watch and be amazed. All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, uh, huh. ah! Yeah, I'm amazed. Welcome, Welcome to, to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm Steven, and we're glad you guys are hanging with us yeah, today. Yeah, you guys are in for one doozy of a show. That's we right. Got... Really? You forgot to turn your phone off? I. That is weird. I was sure I did. Okay. Sorry. It's all right. Do you want uh, to start over? No, no, let's go. Okay. Uh, well, over the last few weeks, we've been dealing with puzzles here on the show, and and this week we decided to break from all of that. And... <laughs> I know I turned it off yeah. that time. I, d I definitely yeah, did. Sure. <laughs> Very funny. What? You sent that. Sent what? That message. No, I didn't send you that message. I am sitting right next to you doing the show. <laughs> you almost had me. You sent it. I didn't. I promise. What does it say? Like you don't know. <laughs> it says, knock, knock. Knock, knock. Yeah. Sorry. Who's there? You did send I it. I didn't. Okay. Locked inside. Locked inside who? You. We're locked inside. Side, Side doors. doors. Locked. locked. <sighs> okay, this is not some dumb quizmaster thing, is it? How dare you call the quizmaster thing dumb? But no, no, it's not. Then what is it? I don't know. Oh. Roses are red. Leaves are green. You have to figure out what I mean. There's only one way to escape this room. You better hurry up. It's going to go boom. We're in an escape room. And it's going to blow up. Calm down. It, it's not really going to blow up. It's I a think clue. It is. It's a clue. A what? A clue. Okay, this is an escape room. We have to follow the clues to figure out what to do next. What clues? I don't know. Stop shaking, man. I'll tell you. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Caught up. The first part says you have to figure out what I mean. Uh -huh. That means figure out the riddle, right? And uh -huh. then the last part says uh, it's going to go boom. Yeah. So uh, we got to find something that goes boom. Look around. What goes boom? Explosion. No, I mean, in the room. Coca Cola, when you put a Mentos in it. In the boom. room, something goes boom. We look around have for something. Coca Cola in here. Here, here, look, look. These used to be called boom boxes. Ah! <laughs> perfect. Yeah. <laughs> no, wait, wait. What are you doing? What? Was I not supposed to do that? I don't know. Oh, me neither. Congratulations. You're almost out. Now solve the puzzle and say the thing. It all starts with the pull of a string. Pull of a string? Yeah, like a talking oh. baby doll. You know, the kind with the string in the back? I have one of those. I mean, uh, I have a friend who saw one uh, at a store somewhere, and he told me about okay, it. Okay, no, that's, and, that's, no, I don't think it's a baby doll. Okay, good. Oh. Right, it's something in the So room. what is it then? Pull the string. Something pull that pull the string, string. Pull look the around. String. Look around. Look around. The, the cue board. board! Here I go. All right, pull the string. Whoa. Oh. It's a picture puzzle. Yeah. Okay. okay, so 
Now what did the weird, creepy voice say to do? It said, it said, uh, pull the solve train. the puzzle. Oh. No, solve the puzzle and say the thing. Say Remember? the thing. Say, say, say the, the thing. thing. So we have to look at this picture puzzle and solve it and then say it out loud. Okay, so, just start right here, off. Yeah, here we, go, right. Here, right. here we go. Here we go, the, uh, the, uh, the book, mm -hmm. uh, the second hand, mm -hmm. and man. Uh -huh. Book second hand. That's okay. the book, book second, second hand, hand with man. No, That's a page, it. um, uh, uh, clock. Page clock. And, uh, the man with socks. Okay, he, he doesn't, there's no socks. He's probably wearing it, it's, socks. It's a nice try, it's okay. a nice try. Okay, here we go, book sounds right. Book, uh, book clock with silhouette. It's book clock with silhouette. Book clock silhouette. No. No. <laughs> I mean, it's not clock, it's not seconds. What it's, if it was just like, uh, uh, it's Bible story time with Kellen. With Kellen! Ah! 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 You did it! I did it? <laughs> You did it, guys. Did you, did you set, set this up? up? I did. I felt like today's Bible story needed a little dramatic intro. Well, I would say that definitely counts. Mm -hmm. And it's all about questions, which you guys were really good at figuring out. Thank you. Don't do it again. <laughs> but I do need one more favor. Not another clue. Nope. I think this Bible story needs a movie trailer. Ah, why didn't you say so? We're on it. Great. All you have to do is... We've got it. You, you just set us up and, and we'll take it from there. Today's story happens right after Easter. Jesus had just been resurrected, but the disciples hadn't seen him yet. They gathered together in a locked room to talk about all that had happened. Okay, we got it. Yeah, and I think we added in just the right amount of tension. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I haven't finished setting it up yet. Ah, sure you have. At least enough. All righty then, take it away. Okay, without further ado, our movie trailer. It was night, a night no one would forget. Hey, did you lock the door? Of course I did. I always lock the door. Stop, 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 okay. Um. Guys, I get what you're doing. The disciples would have been scared, sure, but this movie trailer may be a little too much. What do you mean? The disciples would have been frightened out of their minds. Yeah, they, they didn't want the same people who took Jesus to come drag them off. We're just trying to set the mood. Okay, uh, continue. Yeah. The disciples were scared. Were they next? Marty, is that you? No, I'm right here. Philip? I'm over here. But the door was locked. No one else could get in. Who was that then? May peace be with you. <laughs> okay, pause right there. The other person in the room was Jesus. But the disciples were very happy when they saw him. Okay, you're kind of messing with the whole vibe we had going on. I just want to make sure that everyone understands that this was the moment that the disciples found out for sure that Jesus was alive. Well, some of them did. One of the disciples, Thomas, he wasn't there at the time. So when the other disciples told him Jesus showed up, Thomas really wasn't so sure. Oh, really? Really? May we continue? Fine. Thomas couldn't believe Jesus was alive. I'm telling you, not until I see the nail marks in his hands and the cut on his side, only then will I believe. Then, a week after Jesus appeared to his disciples in that same locked room. Barty, is that you? No, I'm here. I'm always right here. May peace be with you. It's Jesus! What? Okay, I think that's good. What? We were just getting to the really scary part. I know, that's why I stopped you guys. Thomas said he would only believe if he could see the nail marks in Jesus' hands with his own eyes. Well, that's just what happened. When Jesus appeared to his friend Thomas, 
he patiently showed him the scars in his hands. He wanted Thomas to know the truth. Then Jesus said, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still have believed. Take that, Thomas. Now, hold on. I don't think Jesus was upset with Thomas for having doubts. That's one of the reasons Jesus showed himself to Thomas. And if we're honest with ourselves, we all have doubts from time to time. We all have questions about God and and what we believe, but that's okay. God knows us and understands us. God is so much bigger than our doubts and our questions. Now that is a boom if I've ever heard one. Yeah, thanks for the story, Kellen. Sorry if our trailer scared you. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Sorry if my escape room scared you. Us? Scared? Never. (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Not again! Oh, must have been the wind. Must have been. I'll see you guys next time. Reveal the question. What questions do you have for God? Yeah, if you could ask God anything, what would it be? Do you have any questions for God? Oh, tons. Some more pressing than others. Like, why did God make me this way? Why do some people have to struggle and some people don't? Hmm. Why don't penguins fly? Why did God make mosquitoes? Those are all good. I got more. What does God look like? Why do baboons have colorful butts? All right, we'll see you next week for a brand new show. What is the point of nose hair, and for that matter, ear hair? Did Jesus practice walking on water, or did he just know how to do it? Bye. Why not make a giraffe with a longer leg instead of a longer neck? Because it would be equidistant to the thing. <laughs> Oh, you had me there for a second. Peekaboo! One, two, three! Okay, I'm leaving. Did it work? Brandon? How did he do that again? (laughs) Yes, that worked. (laughs) Oh, hi. I wasn't going to cheat or anything. Okay. Okay, I was. I, I didn't I didn't want you to know that I couldn't figure out this puzzle. Sometimes it's hard to admit when you don't know something. Thomas didn't have a problem admitting it. He didn't know how it was possible for Jesus to come back from the dead. But instead of keeping that to himself, he said it out loud. Thomas asked for proof. Then Jesus showed up and patiently gave Thomas the proof he was looking for. It's okay to have questions. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. Questions about that box. How do you open? Questions about life. Like, how does glue not stick to the inside of the bottle? Questions about God. Like, if God can do anything, why doesn't God stop bad things from happening? Here's the thing. I don't know the answers to all of the questions, but I do know that God knows everything. God knows how many stars are in the sky or how many hairs are on your head. And God is bigger than all your questions. That's the one thing to remember today. Whatever happens, remember God is bigger than your questions. When you have questions or even a doubt, it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. It just means you're human and can't see everything God does. Now, to open this box once and for all. Oh, where did I put the uh, that card? It's a little, it's a little white card. I don't know if you saw it. I've got a lot of questions. Uh, card? It was just a little white card. I don't know if you saw which way I threw it. Card. Card. Little. Uh, it's just a little white card, and I threw it. I've got, I've got an arm on me, so. Wow! I am so glad to know that whatever happens, I can remember that God is bigger than all my questions, including my biggest question of all, where is Amy? Kids, I'm gonna have to keep searching for her. I won't stop until I find her. Let's do our memory verse, our big word, one more time. In this world, you will have trouble. 
but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. John 16, 33b. In this world, you will have trouble, but be encouraged. I have won the battle over the world. John 16, dot, dot, 33b. And bonus points if you can tell me what 33a is. <laughs> Let's say a prayer. Dear God, thank you so much that you are bigger than all my troubles and all my questions. And I can come to you with all my troubles and all my questions. And you help me and you love me. Amen. Okay, kids, it's time for me to go continue my search for Amy. Next week, we're starting a new series. So we're going to be learning some cool new things. I hope to see you there. And maybe we'll have Amy with us. Or maybe not. Hey, you, new Amy. You want to join us next week? What's that? Oh! Okay, that sounds good! <gasps> I hear something else! My seagull ears are picking up something on the wind! I'm gonna follow it and see where it leads! Stairs! Maybe she's up here!